up, welcome to the video and good morning. I just woke up, let myself rest a little bit so I didn't work out this morning. I'll be doing a workout later today, but I'm gonna get my day started, get ready for work, get ready for just kind of my, my morning routine type stuff. I'm gonna go weigh myself now and see what I come in at. So I'm getting started with my work for the day. I've got my little desk here, I've got my laptop, I've got my whiteboards and all that. We're still settling in to this new place and um, still got a lot to put away. As you can see, it looks like a mess in here. Um, that's because there's still some construction that's being done. There's a, a bathroom being put in here and uh, some doors being put in. So um, still far from being settled in, but I'm probably gonna get myself like a cool like office chair or like I've seen some really cool gaming chairs. I don't game but uh, they looked really cool and really comfortable, so still working on this, seeing if I can maybe get like a little kind of separate office type setup for myself. And this is pretty much what I'll be doing for the next few hours. Got my water here. Um, still gonna make my first meal. I'm running a little bit late today, which is fine. But yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna try to replicate yesterday because yesterday I crushed it in so many different areas. I was productive. I um, hit my macros, I had a great workout. I'm gonna try to emulate all those things uh, today. All right, the time has come for my first meal. It's a bit later than usual, so I'm gonna actually try to bulk the meal up a little bit. I'm having my usual two whole eggs, which are cooking up right now. I'm gonna put those on this everything bagel. So this is a Thomas everything bagel. And then I have the Thomas limited edition cranberry English muffins. I'm gonna have one of those and I'm gonna put half of a serving, so half of a tablespoon of Smart Balance butter. I usually don't put butter on stuff because I'd rather just eat my fats instead of add them on with butter or oils. I don't use oils. Um, I'll use this spray when I'm cooking to save myself, you know, fats and calories so that I can ultimately eat more. Also, these are the egg whites I use, so all egg whites. It's a, literally a liquid you pour it right in the pan. I obviously measure it out with tablespoons to make sure that I'm getting in four servings of it, but that's what I'm going with. I'll likely also have a serving of Special K protein cereal and one serving of Raisin Bran cereal mixed together, which is why I have this bowl all set up there. So it's a huge meal, but um, I'm trying to get ahead and make sure that you know, I'm eating enough throughout the day to hit my macros today. All right, so here's the final product. Four servings of egg whites, uh, everything bagel, two whole eggs, English muffin with half a serving of butter. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna eat this first, then I'm gonna have the two servings of cereal after this. All right, it is lunchtime. It's about uh, 1.30, I think, a little past that. Just made uh, my go-to lunch. Eight ounces of ground turkey, some asparagus, some rice, Gonna use this teriyaki sauce, World Harbor's teriyaki sauce. Um, about 45 grams of protein in this meal. About 45 to 50 grams of uh, grams of carbs before using the teriyaki sauce. I track about 15 to 20 grams of carbs worth of the teriyaki sauce, which is about two servings. Um, I'm not even hungry, but that's the biggest struggle about building muscle is that you have to oftentimes eat a lot of food and sometimes that's when you're not even hungry so I'm gonna try to <laughs> take my time and, and eat all this and then I still have you know a bunch of snacks to eat before dinner so we'll keep you posted on that all right it's about 5 30 I've got a snack slash another meal here it's one of these noodle bowls that I had yesterday um, this one is soy garlic flavored noodle bowl there's 88 grams of carbs, which is a lot in this little bowl. Only three and a half fat, which is good, and 12 protein. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'm gonna have a Cliff Bar before we go to the gym, and then I'll have about 60 grams of protein left for dinner, about 20 uh, grams of fat, and 30 or 40 carbs. So I won't have too much food to eat, and um, yeah, it'll be good. All right, guys, what's going on? So I'm gonna catch you up on what happened tonight. So uh, I did go to the gym. Me and Morgan went to the gym together. We did an upper body day. I don't like going to the gym in the evening as much during the week because it's so crowded. We kind of have to pick and choose like, you know, what's available as far as benches, as far as equipment and stuff like that. And also it's so crowded, oftentimes we can't get video clips of what we're doing. 
but in this case, I just forgot the camera in my backpack, so we ended up doing um, the upper body workout. Didn't get any clips of it, but I'm gonna quickly walk you through what we did, give you some insight on how I choose the amount of sets and reps that I'm doing. We did a full upper body workout. It was a more chest-focused um, upper body workout. I have two different upper body workouts that I do. One is um, a chest focused one where I pretty much alternate chest and back exercises. I throw in some shoulders at the end and I throw in some uh, ice, uh, more smaller muscle groups like biceps, triceps, deltoids at the end as well. So that's the first upper body day which I just did. The second upper body day is where I do more shoulder focused work ahead of chest exercises. So I'll start off with like shoulder presses, and kind of work my way back, go to incline, work my way to, to flat presses, and ultimately finish off later with chest and with the more, again, smaller muscle groups at the end. Um, so what we did today was we started off with seated cable row. So that's typically done on a machine, a cable machine, close grip cable row. We did four sets of eight to 12 reps. Then from there, we moved on to flat bench press. We did four sets of that for eight to 12 reps. Um, and the last set was kind of like a burnout or a drop set. So meaning I do my eight to 12 reps and then I'd actually drop the weight and do a few more reps, drop the weight one more time, do a few more reps. So it was, you know, kind of like four sets with the last one being kind of like a burnout set. And then from there we did a straight arm lateral pull down. So it's on a cable machine, up high, a flat bar, a straight bar and we do pull downs like this so um, that's meant for the back and really good really good at isolating the back if you go at a slow enough pace if you really use that mind focus uh, mind muscle connection on actually using the back to, to move the weight so we did uh, three sets of 12 to 15 of that from there, we moved to our first superset, and that was incline dumbbell press with incline dumbbell skull crushers. So a chest exercise with a tricep exercise. And I felt good on the incline press. I actually moved up to 90s on my final set, and I got 90s for six reps. Probably could have got seven or eight. So I feel really good in that regard. Um, and the tricep, um, uh, dumbbell skull crushers, I like doing them on an incline. I like the angle it provides a lot better than doing it flat, but both are really good. And from there, we went to a cable rope pull, uh, press down for the triceps. We did uh, four sets of 12 to 15, and we supersetted that tricep exercise with lateral dumbbell raises. Again, four sets of 12 to 15. And then from there, we finished off with decline cable flies. So we got cables on each side and we did decline flies, um, supersetted with double arm uh, dumbbell curls. And we did 12 to 15 on both of those exercises for four sets. Um, and that was our full workout. And I wanna quickly talk about how I'm choosing the amount of sets and reps that I'm doing. As you'll see throughout this whole month pretty much, I'm doing anywhere from eight to 12 reps of most exercises. Sometimes like on the smaller muscle groups, you'll see I'm doing 12 to 15 reps. The reality is like, you know, people think, you know, if I do more reps and lighter weight, that's gonna tone my body. And if I do heavy weight, that's gonna bulk me up or something like that. And that's really all nonsense. The reality is the, the way that your body tones or bulks is all dependent on how much food you're eating, 100%. The training routine that I do when I'm in a, a weight loss and fat loss phase, which was for the first several months of 2019, looks primarily the same as it does right now. And right now I'm in a lean bulk. The difference is how much food I'm eating, right? how many grams of protein, carbs, and fats I'm eating, and how much cardio I'm doing. So right now, I'm doing zero cardio. Think about that. I'm eating over 3,000 calories a day, doing zero cardio, and I'm just barely gaining weight, just slightly, at a very slow rate. Um, so if I was in a fat loss or weight loss phase, I would be doing a very similar workout routine to what I'm doing now. Maybe the rest periods would be a little shorter, and I would be eating a, you know, a thousand less calories maybe, and I would be doing maybe one, two, three days of cardio, depending on how strict I would be going. And that would lead to me toning up, getting more defined, getting leaner, getting more shredded, as opposed to building muscle, 
getting a little bit bigger in my case for this month. And this style of training that I'm doing right now where I'm in the eight to 12 or 15 rep range and I'm doing, you know, three to five sets of everything I do uh, is, is called a, a hypertrophy style training. So hyper, a hypertrophy phase of training. And generally what I do for my clients is I cycle them through three phases of training. Some of them even four phases. Generally I'll cycle them through a hypertrophy phase, which really hypertrophy, that word, all it means is muscle building. Um, a strength phase where they're doing less reps probably the same amount of sets, but they're really pushing the weight a little bit more, maybe in the four to six or eight rep range instead of eight to 12. So that's a strength phase. And then a third phase is a conditioning phase. So they may still be doing plenty of reps, maybe 10 to 20 reps, but there's more pairings, there's more supersets, there's more super, uh, uh, circuits and giant sets, and the rest periods are generally shorter so that you're gonna be burning more calories, it's more of a, you know, a, a calorie burning style of workout, which is more relatable to like maybe some of the boot camps or some of the group fitness classes you may have tried out yourself. So those are the three primary phases of training that I have cycled myself through the last few years and I cycled through my clients. Hypertrophy, strength, and conditioning. And then for some people who have performance-based goals, maybe they wanna run a certain time in a marathon or a Spartan race or they play a sport, we have a performance uh, a performance phase as well. And I'm pretty much in that eight to 12 rep range, you know, not doing super heavy weight right now in that hypertrophy style of training for pretty much this whole month. After October, what I'm planning to do is cycle through the, sh the hypertrophy and the strength phases of training. And I'll be doing that week by week. So one week I'll do all hypertrophy style training, the next week I'll do all strength style. So the, the, the workout routine themselves will actually be very similar. The only difference will be how much I'm pushing it on the weight, how many reps I'm doing. In the hypertrophy phase I'll be doing those 8 to 12 or 15 reps, so a little bit lighter weight, which is kind of what I'm doing now. And then in the strength phase, or the strength week, I'll be doing heavier weights and really pushing myself to get anywhere from four to six or maybe at most eight reps. Um, so I just wanted to lay that out for you and, and that's generally how I recommend people change their workouts because people think they have to confuse their muscles and follow a different workout program and change up all the exercises every week or every month and that's actually really stupid to do. You want your body to progress and actually get better at the movements it's doing. You want to Realistically, you want to keep your workout routine, the, the primary movements pretty similar, right? I'm still doing chest presses, I'm still doing overhead presses, I'm still doing rows and pull downs, I'm doing all those things. The only thing that, that changes uh, from phase to phase is how much weight I'm doing, how many reps I'm doing, and, and my rest periods, and maybe what I'm pairing the exercises with. Um, so those are different variables you can use to change up your workouts and um, much more helpful to help you actually progress, get stronger, and actually get, get better at those movements and see better results, as opposed to trying to follow a different program every week or every month. All right guys, my hair is clearly messed up. Desperately need a haircut. But um, for dinner, instead of um, making food and cooking food, because it's a bit later, it's like nine o'clock, um, neither me or Morgan wanted to make some food. So I've got some backup snacks to have. So I've got this cookies and cream Greek crunch light and fit yogurt. So I'll have that. And I'll have this Met RX protein bar. This is like cookie crunch or something flavored. There's 45 uh, grams of carbs in that. 32 protein, 14 fat. So it is a hefty calorie dense bar. Again, if you are someone who has a fat loss goal or you're looking to lose weight, not super easy to fit into your day and also have nice big satisfying meals um, but for me it's perfect um, so I'll have both of these I didn't end up having a cliff bar before the gym I just had that noodle bowl so just for reference so that you can kind of see what I'm having so after I eat both of these I will have 24 grams of protein left six grams of fat I believe and 10 carbs so I'm thinking I may have a protein shake of some sort um, just to kind of get close to those macros and that will be a pretty successful day. And also, 
the basketball season started today. The Raptors are playing the Pelicans and the Lakers play the Clippers later today. So for me as a basketball fan, that's exciting. I'm gonna watch that, eat this, and um, get to bed.